Yeah. Washing with water isn't going to do much good. You what am I supposed to put on it? Hot lava? Yes. You, you stick your hand in hot lava and it cleans, cleans your hands right off. Mm hmm <laughs> in this episode of Discovery Duo, we are checking out five different rare or exotic fruits. Now when I say rare and exotic fruits, this is stuff that's tropical environment. Things that you won't really see in a typical grocery store in the U.S. You might see them in other countries and stuff like that, but here in our grocery stores you see, you know, apples, plums, pears, peaches, things like that. The first up that we have is... I'm afraid. I'm afraid. This is... Mm. Mm, smell this. It's got like a very fragrant smell to it. That's weird. Do you guys know what this is? This is called passion fruit. Passion fruit uh, grows on a vine. Beautiful flowers. Do the little magic of the internet here and show you a picture of some uh, passion flowers. Boom! They're very, very beautiful. In fact, they're probably one of my favorite flowers. Just because of the intricate detail and all the little wiry things that come off of them and stuff like that. They're really cool looking flowers. But they also produce, certain varieties of them produce these fruits, which are called passion fruits. So, I wanted to uh, cut one open so we can try it out. Have you ever had passion fruit before? Mm-mm. All right, well, here we go. Is this, is it just gonna ooze out? Um, it, it, it's not oozy per se, okay. but it does have kind of a, it's kind of, it's, it's gooey. <laughs> oozy, but just, it's not oozy, it's just gooey. Yeah. So let me cut right on into this bad boy and typically just cut him right in half. What in the world? Yeah. <laughs> Don't try that at home, kid. Try that at home, kids. So hold on, just try it at your friend's house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> see, look at this. It's like egg yolk. It's like blah, 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 blah. So here's why I actually have the spoon. Is it I want. It's not sticky, but again, you smell very, <laughs> very strong, perfumey kind of smell to it. Mm. My mouth is already watering, just, just smelling it. You ready? Uh, uh, you want to try it? So take a scoop out. Pretty sure that just pain your headache immediately. Sour, huh? <laughs> There you go. Passion fruit. And you can see each of those is little seeds. All the seeds in there are edible. Why do I keep eating it? Fish! Because it's good. Look at that. There you go. Now that's ah. a completed half. You can see inside, it has these little dimple things. Those are like nipples. <laughs> Passion fruit nipples. <laughs> That's definitely a good fruit. It's not one of my. That's not my favorite, but it is a good. It's one of those very distinct flavors that once you try it, you know what it is. You'll always know that flavor for the rest of your life. It's one of those kind of really interesting, very perfumey, sharp flavors and smells to it that is just. That reminds it just you of sticks in your head. It really does. It's like a Sour Patch Kid that you would find in like Hawaii. Sa <laughs> <laughs> sour Patch Kid in Hawaii. Like they have a specific Sour Patch Kid for Hawaii. Yep. Okay. So next up, we have. I'm afraid. The star fruit. Okay. I know you've heard of star fruit, but I wanted to put that on this show because. I like it. Yeah. <sighs> Some people have not heard or seen any of these fruit. Star fruit, as you can see, has it's star. star shape to it. It's good. Often called carambola uh, in a lot of Latin communities, uh, star fruit grows also in tropical regions. You get it from our backyard? Yes. <laughs> this one I got from our backyard. I know you've tried this one before, so this is not a surprise to you. But it I is. do. I know people. 
a lot of people have not seen Star Cruise, or it's new and unique to them. Okay, now cutting into this, you see that very distinct star shape to it there. You know what this looks like? It looks like a guy that's shaped like a star dancing, but with one of those like cone heads. Oh, there you go. Let's see what he's talking about. Say that. <laughs> so in 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 these um you can see in between each of the segments of the star there there's seeds that go all throughout the whole thing. A lot of people what they'll do whenever they're cleaning these is actually cut along these edges here. Cut off the end like that and then just cut it to little wedges. My favorite way of eating star fruit actually is really, really cold. I like it almost freezing temperature. Very refreshing, has a consistency kind of similar to like the rind portion, the white portion of a watermelon. Watermelon! Watermelon, just like <laughs> a watermelon. So, go ahead and invite on into one of these here if you want to. Looks like mm. an apple. Yeah, kind of the consistency of apple. It's a little bit softer than an apple. Good though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's cool to experience. Let's see what's going on with the inside. And eating a uh, star. Mm -hmm. I rank star fruit probably somewhere in the range of uh, like a star rating from 1 to 10. Somewhere in like the 5 or 6. It's not my favorite. It's just kind of meh. They tend to be rather bland. Next up is dragon fruit. You know what dragon fruit is? Right. <laughs> it's a fruit. Yes, it is a fruit. I have two different varieties here. This is a red variety and a white variety. Dragon fruits are kind of a cactus-like vine. It grows typically up trees and stuff like that. Let's cut into... which one you want to do first? Do the red? Okay. I want to see the white last. See the best for last. There you go. Oh, look, at, look at that color. Very vibrant color to it. Whoa! You hold that up for everyone to see. This cone you slice too. Yep. Yeah. Did you just bite into it now? Isn't it pretty? Um, no, the best way, actually, you know, we'll use our team spoons Ooh, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you just kind of scoop along the edge there so that you get to the uh, edge of the skin. You can kind of just right. scoop some out there. Oh, that looks weird. Mmm. Minimal flavor. But it is good. It's, it doesn't have much of a sugary taste to it or anything. There's a little bit of a sweetness to it. It tastes like nothing to me. There's a lot of itty bitty tiny little seeds. I don't know if the camera's really picking that up. You'll see those seeds. They're black in here, which the contrast is kind of difficult to pull up. They'll be very distinct in this one over here in the white. So let's blast into this here white one. Ooh, that it. What in the world? Yeah, see that? Even more distinct than those seeds. Now it's not something you expect by seeing this. You see this, and then, that and then the you see this. Very, very pretty fruit. The color, you know, all those different little flares. It looks like fire coming off of it. To, the red pink color and then the inside being black and white. Let's do a little taste test on this one too. Be nice to get a contrast from one flavor to the other. Hmm. Ooh. That's actually got a little more of a tartness to it. I like Still the other one. very subtle. I like the other one. Because it tasted like nothing to you? No, it, it has barely little taste. This, one. this has a little more, kind of a more complex sugary kind of profile to it. But, but it's, does it it's, have any sugar? 
Oh yeah, yeah. Not much, but it has, sure. The next one is called Rambutan. Rambutan! These little guys look like little weevils. Little fuzzy balls. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Inside of these has... White. Yes. White. Yeah, whitish, kind of a cream, cream whitish co color. Um, and then inside, the very core of it is a seed. What you want to do in order to open these, people open a lot of different ways, but I just use my teeth. What? Just, no more? Yeah, basically, you want to separate the outer skin, which is kind of thick. It's kind of weird getting this fuzzy little thing in your mouth. But, uh... <laughs> are you shaving? You shaving it up? You giving it a haircut? Yep! I'm gonna get the scissors. <laughs> nah, here, I'll, I'll open it for you. So, basically... <laughs> Whoa! That looks like the, um, leeches. Yes, very similar. To the lychee. So, take this little fella out of there, and this is your fruit on the inside. I got it! A little brown. I'm not used to them being brown like that, but looks like it got bruised a little bit there, so it's caused the brown color. I'm good! There you go, you got it. So, don't forget, in the inside is a seed. Basically, if I. Mmm, tastes like a lychee! Tastes like a lychee? Yeah! Pretty similar. I think, I think it's actually in the same family. I don't understand why. Somewhere in that botanical realm. These aren't as, as sugary as some that I've had. Uh, this is good. Yeah. The varieties of different fruits tend to typically lean Ew. towards certain things, whether it be taste, size, um, smaller seeds to get more fruit, things of that sort. This one seems to have focused more on the size of the fruit as opposed to flavor. So here's, here's the seed. Oh, it's like an almond. Oh, yeah. So the last one is called jackfruit. Jackfruit is a big boy, so I need to kind of prepare the stage for this one. Can I show you? There you go. And I've this never is tried a jackfruit. This. Let's put it down. <coughs> and you can see it, they're very spiky. It's, I believe it's the heaviest or one of the heaviest fruits in the world. Not this one in particular. They actually get, the internet sources say 75 pounds, but. That's like 10 right there. Just yesterday, I saw one that exceeds 75 pounds. This thing was absolutely gigantic at How big? 84 pounds. How big? Like... Well, it's this big. And I took a picture of it while we were at the market getting this one. Um, and it, it, it's it's quite large. It's way more than I'd be able to handle myself. Not only because it's heavy, but all these spikes and carrying an 85, 84 pound anything with spikes by yourself would be pretty torturous. These little fellas basically just grow up in the tree, hanging from the tree, and um, get big. <laughs> now on the inside of these, so the jackfruit, well, careful because this, Jackfruit releases, whenever you cut it open, there's Ooh. this white sap in kai that, inside. It's actually called a latex in, in kai. And kai to the latex. This latex is super, super sticky. So I'm going to cut into this bo bad boy here. I don't know exactly which way I'm going to do it. There are better ways to do this, but I want to cut it in, in just in half so that everyone can kind of see a cross-cut section of it. So when I cut... <laughs> <laughs> into this. Is it a pumpkin? <laughs> <laughs> now jackfruit. <laughs> that was like a brain. Jackfruits. <laughs> oh, there's a. Are the text. flavor of them, as you'll see. I'm gonna cut the tip off there. <laughs> the way that people like to describe it is, if you know the flavor of juicy fruit <laughs> gum, that original flavor of the root the juicy fruit gum the original flavor is this? actually from the jackfruit tree or jackfruit fruit and that's where they got the juicy fruit and and the name from we're almost in there as you can see this is already oozing oh! see, see the stickiness everywhere this is quite funky try not to touch it as much as possible because all you're going to do is just get more everywhere 
washing your hands isn't gonna do much good because all you're gonna do is get more on. Okay, so after some technical difficulties and him washing his hands, we're back. Doesn't help. Yeah, washing with water isn't gonna do much good. You what am I supposed to put on it, hot lava? Yes, you, you stick your hand in hot lava and it cleans, cleans your hands right off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I pulled out a couple of the little, um, I, I believe they're called arrows. Uh, these little, they're kind of sacks that each seed sits inside of. As you can see there, I pulled pulled the, the seed out of the uh, sack. That looks super weird. And inside, this whole surrounding sack here is where the sweetest of the stuff is. The lighter, you can see these lighter fibers, they're edible as well, but they're not, they don't have any of the sweetness to them. And what people will actually do is turn those into like a, uh, like a vegan pe pulled pork. And you put barbecue sauce on them, it's actually really good. The smell, I don't like. The taste, I like. Taste? What do you think they taste like? Like, like bubble gum, huh? Yeah, basically. It's like that juicy fruit gum. This one could have gone a little bit longer. It still has some, what in the world? some maturing to do. Typically, these will get a little bit darker yellow and it'll cut down a little bit on the latex as well. Yeah, but there's a seed. The seed is actually surrounded by another little surrounding. There's a technical name for it, but I just am not that good at knowing those I'm not technicalities. Good at but these seeds, you can just basically plug those right in the ground and grow another tree, as will most plants and trees. Because that's how they do it in Mother Nature. <laughs> well, a bird drops them. Yes, bird or some other animal. I don't see too many birds picking up 84 pound fruits and flying them around and dropping them. You never know. You never know. Velociraptors and <laughs> Get velociraptors dropping 84 pound fruits on people's heads. <laughs> hey, whoa there! All right, so hopefully this is new for some of you guys to experience some of these fruits. Uh, these are odd for most Americans, but uh, for people outside the United States, uh, it's uh, more common, especially in the tropical regions. We'll probably do some more of these shows that are specific to the rare fruits because I tend to be kind of obsessed with with rare fruits and rare trees and things well, like no that. Okay. So, yeah, our whole our whole yard is all edible fruits. We live and in rare. Florida, so a lot of rarities and odd things that most people don't typically eat or see in the grocery store. So until next time, please like and subscribe. We're and new to this whole thing. We're new to doing this on YouTube and we want to see that people are interested in what we're doing. So please, please, please subscribe to the channel and tell other people we're out there discovering new things, people, places, all kinds of stuff. So please stay tuned, comment down below if you have any suggestions for us for shows in the future and we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.